Okay, let's have a look at our hook code. So the hook is this report underscore job start dot py and the purpose is uh, to be a template to allow customers to connect to their own APIs at multiple events um, during the job life cycle. And in this case, uh, we want to uh, do something when the job starts and um, we want to do this already on the server level. Uh, so after the scheduler decided to run the job on certain compute nodes, but before sending the job to the compute nodes, this is um, the run job event. We also want to do it on the primary compute node of a multi-host shop um, just before the job is started there. Um, and that is happening in the exact job prolog event. And we also want to report um, something at the end of the job. And that is when the primary compute node informed the PBS server that the job is done. Uh, and that is the job orbit event. And yeah, we just see the hook code here. Let's quickly go through uh, the structure of this file. It's pretty simple. We have a header here. It's just commands meant to remember how to create this hook, how to set attributes, how to import the hook um, later on. Um, we import the PBS module. This is, of course, important so that we can access all of the objects you need to access, like the job and all of the job's attribute. We have imported sys and traceback as well. And this is for getting proper exception handling. And this is uh, what we see here mainly in the bottom, uh, the accept clauses after our code that we put into the try statement. Um, this way we will get proper tracebacks whenever there is an issue in our hook so that we can quickly find the issue and fix it. Um, yeah, looking at the code, I will not explain everything in detail here. Uh, what we see is that we fetch uh, the job ID and the queue. Uh, the queue the job is located in. Um, we also fetch the O queue or let's call it origin queue. That is the queue uh, the user submitted the job to. And can be different because the job might have been routed from the uh, queue the user submitted the job to to some other queue because the initial queue is a routing queue and but there are other reasons why the effective queue might be different from the original queue looking at um, the code further down here uh, we see that in the case of the run job and job orbit event um, we get the list of execution nodes this way. So it's a bit different uh, compared to how you do it on the compute nodes. And then we just lock all the details um, so that we see if it does work properly. And at this point, we have all the details needed to report something to their API so that you can put their code here then. Um, the other case here is the exit job prologue. Uh, this, the difference a bit is um, that the exit job prologue usually runs on all compute nodes, but we only want to run it on the primary compute node of the job. And so we check if the job is in MS mom and MS means mother superior in this case. For us, it means the first or primary compute node of the multi-host job. And the host list is Fetching it is a bit different here. You can see it's called vNode list. Um, and this way we get the list of compute nodes on the compute nodes in this prologue event. And again, we report this. And that's it actually. So the remaining task is to create the hook, to import the hook code and to test it. So let's do this. Let me quit here. Let me do a head on the hook. And now we can just run these commands. So the first command will create the hook. Already set the first event. Um, ah, that's my mistake, unfortunately. So the hook already has been uh, created, but that's not a big issue. Let's just leave it uh, like this. Um, let's just run the next command to add the run job event. Let's add the job orbit event. And finally, we have to import the hook code. And after this, PBS will automatically distribute this hook to all compute nodes. So you, we just maintain 
Hooks on the PBS server. Um, okay, and by default, the hook is enabled, so it should be active. And for testing this, we will just inspect the server log file, because that's where we will see the log messages when the hook runs at the run job and job orbit event. And we will also inspect the PBS log file on the compute node. We already see some messages here because PBS server was copying over the hook file as promised by me automatically. And the remaining thing is that we will just submit a job. Uh, let me think. We will do a QSub, of course. We want to have a different. Um, we want to submit to a different queue than the effective queue will be. So let me pick a routing queue. So queue is entry queue, and the entry queue is simply routing jobs to another queue, which is called work queue in my case. And we need to request some resources. Let me do select. So give me two chunks with uh, one core each and one GB of memory. Okay, looks good. And I also want to make sure that these two chunks are really scattered uh, on, 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 on multiple compute nodes. So let me also add some placement setting here. Let me say dash L place equals scatter to enforce that these two chunks must run on different compute nodes. And yeah, we have to run something. For our test, we can run probably the simplest thing you can run, and that is a bin true. So we don't need to submit a sophisticated job script for our test. So let me just submit the job. And now let's inspect the log files to see if our code is working as expected. And what we see here, the first log messages, uh, the first log message on the server is for the run job event. And it's reporting indeed what we want, the job ID, the uh, compute nodes, the job boss uh, running on and the queues, as I explained before. And we see the very same for the job orbit event. So that was printed uh, once the job finished. Um, yeah, the same data here on that line. And now let's look at the compute node. Here we see yeah, a single line, because here only the prolog event uh, did run on the compute node. And again, we see the job ID, uh, we see the queues. Uh, as I mentioned before, the list of compute nodes is slightly different because here it's a real array or a list, while uh, on for the server events we got kind of a plus concatenated uh, string. But anyway, uh, we can fetch the information we need uh, from this um, piece of data anyway. And that's it actually. So everything seems to work fine. So I think we can just share this code with the customer and then they can add um, their stuff.